Hi Sagittarius, you have come first, third, third place with Leo and Virgo. You gave the video 35 likes. Thank you very much for liking and sharing. So, a little bit more thumbs up and you'll be first place. Gemini was outrageous. Okay, thank you. I really do appreciate it. I love to have a competition like that as well. And you, it also is nicer because that means that you're not the last. Okay, never, you're never the least though. Remember that. Okay, Sergi, I'm doing the um, nine card spread again. This is you or the overall energy. It's up to you what, how you will interpret this. Then we've got Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday, and the corner cards will clarify the three or the three will clarify the corner card goes for every single corner I'm going to cut the intro very short so if you uh, at the end of the video I will give you the spiel and updates if you are interested to find out then stay at the end please <coughs> also uh, welcome to my new viewers and thank you um, come dropping in and watching the video and my cyber angel if you want to become a cyber angel then join me in the life and listen on how you can do that and where at the end of the video first of all this is your reading Sagittarius for the 29th to the 5th of July and we are in a new zodiac sign and that's cancer and we are going into a new month summer is finally here and you have number 17 which is 8 and that means the house and house of money and power it seems that you are in your power your element as you have the star so there will be a wish <coughs> coming true or a goal so beautiful so a wish is coming true you could also be meeting an Aquarius as the star represents Aquarius on Monday you have the moon there might be something that you don't know because you've got the dark side of the moon and you've got the light side the light side means spotlight you are in the spotlight and the moon shines light on your path you are on the yellow brick road you're going to the Wizard of Oz to your goal that's the northern note so you're on the right path uh, and the moon is also representing Pisces but because we've got a lobster or a crab here and um, I say could be cancer as well don't exclude cancer okay so your emotions might be heightened with all this in um, astrological energy ship shaping <laughs> the full moon and Cap the moon of Capricorn uh, cancer I mean and uh, the energies and the new months oh there's lots happening really an active period on Wednesday somebody from the past might be coming back and um, giving you a present in this deck the uh, six of pentacles looks a lot like the six of um, cups in other decks it looks like these two have been brought together anyway for me because a ghost is an ancestor is somebody from the past somebody that has gone over into another realm so you might see signs that they are there they are letting you know that you are not alone it could be a grandmother it could be a pet it could be anything but the basic meaning of the six of pentacles is uh, if you are more fortunate you might be giving to the less fortunate or vice versa okay it could be a listening ear it doesn't have to be material it can also be spiritual a listening ear that's spiritual because it's you can't touch it you can only give it or take it or you could open up your heart to somebody if you're less fortunate you might be um, telling somebody um, something that you love to do or that you miss 
and you are emptying out your heart and they're giving you a listening ear it's my give and take share and share a like card you are in balance though wow you are in your strength and in your balance then we go to the four of pentacles have you closed off your heart have you closed off your heart to anybody because look he's got all his money he's holding on to it or are you holding on to something that um that you can't let go like old memories from the past perhaps you are holding on to bad memories that is stopping you in your tracks so that you have to keep on treading on the same road be careful be careful that's not a good habit let go so that the new can come in you're making room to come in four is proper foundations productivity so open up to receive open your heart open your solar plex open your mind to new ideas and on the weekend we have the queen of swords and because it's lying in this direction open your mind she's looking in the bookcase perhaps you have memories about a Gemini and they weren't good so open your mind and think about the good times there must be good times okay everything has got a good side and a bad side but it's upside down so let go of the bad memories and think of the good memories then you can open your mind then it's you are just as inquisitive and eager to learn like the Queen of Swords the Queen of Swords is or uh, represents a Libra Libra but don't ex exclude Gemini or Aquarius because you are also an air sign just like and this could be you so it could be you or somebody else but it looks like you have closed your mind to something and that's another card that means the same so perhaps um, you have shut off uh, your mind um, to uh, yeah um, I'm seeing this <laughs> I've got to remind myself that this is a general reading and not um, um, a personal reading extensively um, because it's already so long but it's lying next to the star card perhaps you have given had given up hope on the wish coming true or your goal perhaps you closed your mind to learning to get the information perhaps you felt you weren't capable of learning and you were treading a dead end road and you felt on your own it's you that closed yourself off from others and society and ideas and I think that's more so than holding on to money or spending too much money but if you are spending too much money then that is a warning card to cl um, tighten up the purse strings learn how to do that turn this card around you're not taking note of what you've learned because the card is upside down okay again you've got the uh, Queen of Pentacles she learns she stands for Mother Earth new beginnings fertility so the time is fertile to learn and to gain that knowledge it will take you to where you want to go okay and remember there might be somebody wearing a mask that is not honest with you it could be somebody from the past so learn from the past the Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo so it could be a Virgo that could and the card is lying next to the Queen of Pentacles so if it is a Virgo then a Virgo has kept a secret it didn't tell you the truth or is not telling you the truth he's hiding something and you want to find out 
open your mind to find out so that you can get clarity and justice. Mm. As the Queen of Swords stands for clarity, justice, communication, uh, intelligence, wisdom. She uses her wisdom and her knowledge to get clarity for you. And perhaps this is you trying to get clarity, okay? And somebody has been hiding information and lying to you, okay? So something, uh, if you've invested in something, then it will grow, nourish and blossom. And it's a transformational period for you when you're stuck in there because you're learning. You will get the knowledge because you will pick and ha um, you will grow and you will half blossom and harvest. Okay. Now, um, so your wish of learning or getting pregnant or being the mum will come to fruition. It is here. You don't know how because it's not clear. Okay. It is not straightforward. It's not clear. Okay. Wow. We've got the Ten of Cups. Ultimate, ultimate fulfillment emotionally or spiritually. Perhaps you might be e extending thinking uh, thinking the Queen of Cups will be turned round by the end of the week I think because you might be extending your family you might have extended your family with a pet with a child coming together with a family reunion family and friends and there will be parties celebrations as you've got the rainbow and ten is a completion you feel complete. Right. There will be a new beginning because there is an ending. And that new beginning could be your wish. You've got recognition. Could be somebody from the past coming back. Reunion, like I said. Okay. And at the bottom corner, you have the Three of Pentacles. You have the book of wisdom you've learned you've studied you got the information that's why I said you will turn the Queen round you have the open mind boom you have got the open mind otherwise you couldn't have passed your um, your diploma or whatever and you've got recognition you're no longer the apprentice you've got recognition you can go on to the next step to get that job or to start that business awesome and you've got the four of pentacles again so it's warning you open your mind open your solar plex open your heart if you're open you can receive don't be scared you've learned from the past so you don't have to go into sadness into drama stay away from other people's drama that is what you've learned you don't have to go back to the past. Learn from the past. Now you can give back your knowledge, what you've learned to others, to the little ones, perhaps. Or you can learn from little ones, from when you were little. You've definitely learned. You've grown. You're the mother mother of something mother of your own life you can nurture yourself perhaps you are um, got a new pet or you got pregnant you're finding out you're pregnant Wow because the ground is fertile for everything and you gr and it grows you have grown definitely you've got the knowledge because you've got the recognition and your wishes come true I will go back to this card uh, with the chakras uh, in a minute and we have the rainbow okay you've got two rainbows look at that that is very significant and you've got number 41 so 41 is like five okay 
you might feel out of sorts because you've gained so much knowledge and you might feel left out of a group or family right but you'll get there you'll get back because you um, your wish is coming true and you are balanced you you're in your strength emotional fulfillment the ten right now we're going to the rainbow and you can see it is a bird it was flying forwards it's like a, a parakeet of some kind the bird of peace that's what's coming into me right you're in the limelight look at this you've got the moon and the star you are in the spotlight so you are being seen and it could be by a Pisces it could be by an Aquarius it could be by the Queen of Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles that is Virgo people are taking you serious the rainbow symbolizes the seven steps of the true spiritual path there you go which manifest as the colors of the seven chakras in the Himalayas the rainbow body is seen as a full realization of our essence the rainbow also represents the bridge between the physical and the spiritual world worlds here you are the two worlds the spiritual world and the earthly world so perhaps it is um, huh, I, I don't know but I've got a Libra in my mind I don't know why perhaps it's a Libra mind that you're uh, is coming back giving you signs that's giving you the recognition okay the rainbow also represents the bridge between the physical and spiritual worlds at the end of our lives we can journey across the rainbow bridge to the highest heavenly realms when the rainbow appears it is an affirmation that all is well and that you are in right in you you are in right relationship with spirit so you are on the right path with spirit and you've got your spiritual card here like I said your emotions might be heightened your spirituality your intuitiveness you have learned from the past so your intuition will give you the red flag warnings when something is up awesome good 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 you have come far okay we've got the star let's have a look right for those that are interested this is where I get my information from the star means the third eye and it's got the symbol of the earth chakra the heart chakra <coughs> or the element earth then you've got the symbol for touch and this is Aquarius the sign of Aquarius and that is the sign of the chakra and then I'll go here and I've got short notes here so you when you do it for your querent I can get even more information uh, out of this but I'm just skimming I'm just skimming a little bit of the information this star qualities glowing inspiration spiritual regeneration purification renewal the element is air so that's the heart chakra anatomy is the ankles that is you Aquarius astrology Aquarius musings the meaning confidence self-respect revealing self to others there you are you are in the spotlight you're revealing you're being noticed you've done the work like I said awesome now you have a sub element although you are the air sign as well it is air 
astrology is Aquarius and independent and the anatomy side of you um, uh, 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 Aquarius are the ankles Gemini is the shoulders and Libra what was that the, the chest I think okay the star is glowing optimistic and characteristic char charmist charismatic sorry sometimes I get too tired and I can't get the words out she represents hope and balance the star signifies the essence of spiritual regeneration she is confident and pure in both her inner and outer qualities she's about being peaceful and inspired the star is where dreams come true there you go Boom. I'm just reading the definition of the author okay I've already given you a lot of information I hope it resonates getting the star card does not mean becoming a celebrity it is to be accepted and acknowledged as bringing inspiration and the renewal of inner and outer spiritual and artistic qualities <coughs> the star card suggests that astri astral understandings and greater patterns of meanings are being channeled to you from the celestial realm of the greater or higher self and the author also does a story with every um, chakra meaning and from the story you can you remember that much better than when I name up figures and numbers and meanings okay that's what I was trying to do with my readings as well make story out of it so that you can get the gist and feel it and remember it story Jerry has been in and out of politics his whole life one time I saw him in uh, on an almost desolated street he wasn't in the public eye yet he glowed I could see him a, a block away I experienced my own star quality at my launch party from my polarity wellness tarot deck I gave a presentation about something that has never existed before and was able to spontaneously relay very clearly I was told that I glowed I looked and felt great finally I was coming into my own yes you are coming into your own because you will open your mind turn the queen round you will open your heart and your solar plex and you will start to enjoy life again to the full partying but make sure that you've learned from the path that you don't burn the candle at both sides your wish is coming true so you are going to celebrate beautiful reading absolutely gorgeous I hope you enjoyed it too so make sure that you subscribe if you're new please and hit that bell on all and then you'll be notified but a lot of my viewers cyber angels have said they're not getting notified so I do send out send out a notification in the community sector on YouTube so check that um, um, around 6 p.m. European time that's about 12 or 1 p.m. Uh, United States time and uh, Van uh, um, oh gosh Canadian time on the West Coast and Ontario um, uh, as I know people there so that's why I know the time difference and join in um, and uh, have a look at on my Facebook or Instagram I will be notify uh, sending out a notification through that as well now I hope you really all have enjoyed this beautiful reading 
um, I did and I hope you will have a fantastic week ahead good luck with everything you're doing so that your wish can come true and I do go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards but I also answer questions uh, that are supported with a super chat or by a, a donation super chat or super sticker if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading an extensive reading then you can find the information below the video and in the top right hand corner that will take you to my website I am a Reiki master and um, I do work with Brenda she's also a Reiki master and reader she lives in Ontario like I said I know people in Ontario so have a look um, at her channel take care God bless and have a great weekend and a brilliant week ahead ciao ciao love Cybermom. please share and like if you would like to be the first one to get the reading of the week.